So I have to say, first off, being an American, I am not totally dialed in to the Princess Diana legend. I mean, I, I understand that she it was a huge tabloid staple, uh, really ra uh, raised the profile in a different way of the royal family in the UK. Uh, but I also, but I respect the fact that she was the people's princess. However, as an American, I think I never really got an accurate picture as to why she was so beloved by her people. I accept it. I understand it. Uh, I think she was a big game changer, as I said, for the royal family and also the UK. Uh, but, you know, again, I never made that connection with her personally. And I will say that it's, it's fascinating. I wonder if they'll go into this. But uh, before Angelina Jolie, who is a master, a master manipulator of the press, Princess Diana really was, uh, from what I've heard, very good at manipulating the press, of getting herself, you know, she wanted to be in the tabloids. I think it ultimately, tragically, and the story has a tragic end, which I think is fascinating, but she, she played into that very successfully, I might add. And I think she was one of the first actresses, uh, not an actress act, but you know, actresses do it, one of the first high profile figures when the, st when the studio system didn't exist to individually, personally use the press that way. So I hope that that is explored here. I have to say, seeing this trailer, I'm very disappointed in how television it looks. It looks television quality, uh, you know, and because I, I, there's a difference between television and low budget filmmaking, and this looks TV to me. I would also say that Naomi Watts, I'd have to see her performance, but they really play up this big reveal of like, oh, it's, doesn't she look so much like Princess Diana? I have to say, I personally don't see it. I think Jessica Chastain, who is up for the role, would look much more like Princess Diana, and I think Naomi Watts has a, doesn't have a softness that Princess Diana had. I think so far from what I'm seeing, she seems to be missing the quality. And that's frustrating to me because I feel so many of these biographies these days are just becoming uh, like a wig and makeup show. And it's like, oh, the, didn't we make her look a lot like Princess Diana? And I think they're missing a lot of the essence of the, of the person they're historically portraying. So I, I gotta say, I wonder how this will play outside of the UK, especially because I feel that the production quality isn't there. So if you're from the UK, can you please write down, you know, explain what Princess Diana means to you and what you hope this movie will achieve? And also, you know, anybody, do you think this is something you'd want to see in theaters? Does it look television-like to you? So that's my snapshot review of Diana. Thanks for tuning in for the latest trailers and these quick snapshot reviews.